corporations don't exist. They're pieces of paper at the end of the day. Uh, it's the people that do the work, uh, the people that, that, that build the roads and, and um, are, are the lovers and the, and the givers. And I, I agree with that. And, and I want to move on to the final aspect now. Um, and I want, I want to really, this, this is just for me, is, is really the Ubuntu ace up its sleeve. And I realize it's, it's, it's just a concept that if you told me about it a year ago, I would have just said this is completely crazy until an experience I had at the end of last year. And I'll bring my own personal experience into this. And that was when um, I saw for the first time a, an actual, um, let's, I'm just going to call it, I know it's not really what it is, but I'm going to, for a better, for want of a better term, I'm going to call it a free energy device. When I actually saw a device like that working and I was there, I felt it and I saw it and it was quite a, a life-changing experience for me because up until then, the amount of nonsense on the internet, the amount of empty promises with people promising to give free energy devices and free electricity to the people and consistently and, and everybody's got some weird device that happens to work and none of the academics believe it and no one say, everyone says it's a hoax. When I physically saw it in Cape Town and the person, uh, and for those of you I'm not want to go and have a look at it just go and research the Ainsley circuit this is where I I came into it into it with Rosemary Ainsley and I physically saw that such a device is possible it it was a, it was a big shift for me and I want to talk talk you guys to talk me through this because you keep talking about free and cheap energy how is this going to work because I know it's possible but how far off is it really? And I know, Michael, you are with the energy breakthrough movements. You, you, you speak at these conferences. How close is this really? Um, it, we're very close, um, Scotty. The, there are thousands of scientists, inventors, and um, researchers that, are, that have developed free energy devices. We know that free electricity and alternative sources of energy is not only possible, but it has been developed before and given to the world. The most famous example, obviously, always being Nikola Tesla. And everything we use in the world of electricity today uh, and electronics, um, and uh, including television and radio, all that, is all Tesla technology based. And yet most people that go to, um, to, to university and study uh, electrical engineering hardly get taught anything about Nikola Tesla. It's quite spectacular. So it's, it's, you agree it's real. I mean, this is not a it, – it's, it's there. It's possible. It's, it's absolutely real. We know – I have seen uh, free energy devices myself. I have seen them um, uh, at these uh, energy conferences that I've been attending around the world. Um, the, the biggest problem, as I said earlier, the most fiercely protected area of global industry is the energy supply the, and the petroleum and the electricity supply energies. Now, you're they saying will, electricity supply is fundamental to Ubuntu contributionism working. It is, it is one of the founding um, uh, cornerstones, absolutely. It is almost, it is almost the, the breaker of the enslavement um, pattern. Because once you have an energy device or a f the supply of free electricity or free energy to a community, that community can do everything and anything for itself. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about um, your experiences with, uh, with, with what Michael's talking about with regards to the technologies and, um, and the practicalities of, of a movement like this. You've done a lot of research in, in this field as well. No, look into the energy fields. I've worked with, uh, worked with free energy devices myself. Um, I've tested them. Um, I, the only the only thing that I haven't done is put uh, certain very expensive oscilloscopes and stuff to the test with them because of the the costing and uh, the availability. What is that? Is that is the purpose of that to prove it to you? Um, well, that's that's just to prove to electrical engineers that. Uh, it's These real. devices are real and can work, but I've actually I've actually put them to the test physically, so I do know that they work. Yes, and uh, it's undeniable. These things do exist. I mean, I sounded a little uh, negative just now, which wasn't my point. I'm I'm actually very optimistic about the future of the the human race. Um, the only thing that I do realize that a lot of our political opponents don't is that one has to understand what the root cause of a problem is in order to solve it. And having spoken to a number of politicians at the IEC and so on, these guys are just following the same bandwagon 
without really understanding what the root cause was. Well, it's a formula. It's a methodology. The, exactly. The Ubuntu party understand what caused the problem in the first place. They've identified that and have therefore the answer to sorting it out. 